No eyes on the official. Oberton stands it up. Flicks towards goal. Sis. Mazzola. It's scraped across goal. It is. The captain in the 95th minute wins it for the hosts. He saved the first one, but Dimmick did just enough on the second. Let's see it again. Flicked towards the back post. Sis, it's saved. And Dimmick just puts it on frame, does enough to squeeze it home. And surely gets the three points for the hosts. Conceded 30 goals on the season. That is the second most in USL League One. Oh, this is misplayed. Is there an opportunity for Nico Brown? Nico Brown! He grabs the turnover, knows what to do with it, and beats New Who with a left foot, and it's time to dance. Tenth minute triumph for Lexington. Nico Brown, number six on the year. One nil to the home side. In Omaha has looked particularly sloppy in the midfield. That got through Palacios and Nico Brown. It looked initially as if that might have been too heavy a touch at the end, but knew who backed off. Brown had the angle, and Brown beats knew who. That was beautiful. About 20 minutes from the campus of the University of Kentucky. It sent short to Muhammad. Puts it on to Tate Robertson, nifty back here. Muhammad with his left foot to the back post. Headed towards Noho, it's a goal, there's two. Antez Diouf, number six on the year. Diouf and Brown have been lethal. Lexington well deserved, 2-0 advantage. I gotta be honest, Union Omaha right now is having its doors blown off. What a delivery from Tariq Muhammad Ates Diouf. His momentum carrying him away from goal, got enough on it to beat New Who to the far post, perfectly placed. Good ball forward, Diouf turns. Diouf, fresh leg still, up ahead. The flag stays down! And it's three for Lexington. They've dominated the match. Khalid Balagoon, if there was any question, has just put it away. He just came on as a sub, and he tastes the back of the net. Diouf put it on the right foot of Robertson, and right on to Balagoon, and all he had to do was tap it in. Knew who had already committed. The defense isn't doing a great job when your goalkeeper leads the league in saves by a, a total of 17 saves, but Packers stepped up when he's needed to. He's tied for, excuse me, he's on his own in third place in the league with seven clean sheets. He's a bar now. You'll see him float all over this midfield. Now on the right-hand side. Cross comes in. That's a great first-time striker. What a goal, Trezor and Bouillou. Oh, my. Top class goal from the left winger. His sixth of the season. Charlotte with an early lead here at home. Here on the Accuvision LASIK replay. Just given too much space there. Saw Mbuyu up wide open on that far post. And a clinical finish. Past the despairing Mitch North. He was in the right position, Mitch North. There was just too much power on that first time strike by Trezor Mbuyu. In the fourth minute, the difference so far. Nico Brown with the early goal for Lexington as he continues to have a solid offensive season in his first year with a new team. That's a poor giveaway now. And here's a chance. Oh, he lays it off. And X gone give it to you. Maximus X ties things up. This 17-year-old on the board for a second straight game. It was a poor giveaway by Charlotte. Jordan Chavez. It looked like he was going to have a chance to score himself, but he laid it off to Maximus X. Here was the poor ball across. It was a good anticipation by Chavez pushing up from his right center back spot. They smartly laid it off to Eck. And that's a quality composed finish for such a young man. Chavez knowing exactly who to give it to. 
the red hot teenager, and we're all tied up at one here. Atkins, some space. He's only got one tonight. Can he make it two? Gets closed down pretty quickly. Villa Forbes. Nice little move to get past Flanagan. Forbes now with the outside of his left foot, and it's 2 1. Jordan Chavez, his second goal in as many matches, and the visitors have a 2 1 lead. Lovely fake there by Chavez to get by Flanagan. Lovely low ball assist, completely the wrong side of his defender. And Chavez makes it 2 1 to the visitors. as Elijah Ambo throws an elbow, so he's calling for the whistle. Here's a run, Leo Castro, he shoots and scores! It didn't take long, Greenville on the board, Castro with goal number seven. Get off to a hot start early. Here's another look presented by Vandy's Barbecue. Leo Castro outruns the entire back line and nets it, the 34-year-old, in the fourth minute. Leo Castro. And that loss snapped a seven-match unbeaten streak, a four-match win streak. Coutinho, good ball ahead. It's Gavilan, yes, pressuring the box. Castro with the cranium. Oh, it goes! And Greenville leads 2-0. And Greenville on top, 2-0. Have another look. Vandy's Barbecue showing you. Castro was right there, parked himself on top of the six and waited for the feed. It was on point. Oh, it was perfect. And the 34-year-old knew exactly what to do. Can Tormenta cut into the deficit? Not right now. Davey Mason puts more pressure on the box. No one there. Initially, Akale, nice move past Gavalanias with the left, it's loose, and it goes! Oh, Mateus Cassini, he was charging in, and Cassini gets Tormenta on the board in minute number 66. It's a goal presented by the clubhouse in the Vandy's Barbecue replay. Akale, the assist, Mateus Cassini. Off the bench. And he comes from out of nowhere. As Kraft gives it away, it's O'Hearn who scoops it up. O'Hearn somehow stays on it. Calixtro now, one of the newcomers. Calixtro rolls it centrally back to Villalobos. He scores against his former club. Jimmy Villalobos. Calixtro found the foot of Keegan, who knocks it right back to Villalobos. Edge of the 18, and just a gorgeous strike as he buries one against his former club. Kraft and Marsh. Kraft takes it, he does test Winkles! Success! A smashing strike in the Smoky Mountain Smackdown. Riley Kraft, that is special. That is special. Skelton, risky to clear it centrally like that, but it does pay off as Kelly Races into space. Has a runner on his right. It's Lineholz. Lineholz is feed. Callum Johnson. He did it last meeting. He's done it again. His fingerprints all over the Smoky Mountain Smackdown. And it's 2 1 1 Knoxville. Against the run of play, 1 Knoxville. Beautiful counter, Kelly kick-started it. The cross from Lineholz as he finds Johnson.
Marsh to equalize in this rivalry matchup. Clinical. Siobhan Marsh. Come from the spot. Made it look effortless. Swinkles gets the wrong direction. Looking for a first road point of the season. Had to snap a six match winless streak. There's Gomez. Drives one across. Gomez fights Marsh for the lead. Yes! Chattanooga Red Wolves. A remarkable rally. It's Siobhan Marsh back to back matches with a brace. Point speed. Links with Sirikowski and now has room. Here's Michael Hornsby, low cross, and it trickles into the back of the net. Unclear whether it'll be an own goal or be credited to Terzaghi, but either way, the Richmond kickers take a 1-0 lead on the road. And it starts with the interplay between Sirikowski and Hornsby, and I believe that's going to be an own goal. It looks like it deflected off Leo Fola. Take a look from another angle. So Rogers will take another Meadow Gold corner kick. Right into the heart of the area and it's headed home. There's the equalizer. And it's lucky Oprah with his first goal this season for the Hailstorm. Terrific outswinger from Rogers. Oprah rises like a salmon dressed in pink and finishes it off as the Hailstorm Fight back level at home. Pinpoint delivery. Back and forth we go. Now Billy King with space. Darting to the byline. Good cross. Finds Ammon. Trevor Ammon. And it's poked over the line. Third time's the charm for Marky Hernandez. The Hellstorm lead. Pure chaos. King's cross finds Ammon. A ton of deflections and Marky Hernandez with the cat-like reflexes to poke it over the goal line. Goal scored in the 72nd minute. Was a super sub last season for Northern Colorado. Once again, just unable to find a man in Gray in the box here. Now Powder pings it forward for King. He's got to wear shirts ahead as well. Billy King, another sensational finish from the Scotsman. A magician from outside the box may have just put the nail in the coffin tonight. Billy King with goal number six of the season. An unbelievable curling finish on the counterattack. And Northern Colorado may be well and truly on their way to history.